You see, your natural state is that of fertility and optimum reproductive function. My job when patients come to me is figuring out what is getting you out of alignment, you know, so that we can both understand how to transition, how to change it, how to get you back into alignment. It is possible to change it, but you need to know how. And the difference is that in the standard medical model, that's not the premise. The premise is that there is something wrong with you and you need an external solution to fix it, right? Which is nothing can be further from the truth, but the reality is that this works for humans. And the reason it works is because we are so used to wanting a quick fix external solution that provides a fast result at the swipe of a credit card so that we can actually just get on with the rest of our lives, right? And sometimes dealing with infertility and miscarriage is nothing like that. You know, you can throw as much money as you want at it and still end up without the outcome that you want because there are other factors that are getting in the way. And so, and understanding those factors is really what's important. When that happens, that we go and we do all the things that we know or that we think or are told that are going to help us and they don't, we, at that point, are usually left with, oh my God, there's nothing else. What else can I do? There's nothing else. This is, you know, it, it's over and we become very despairing. That obviously doesn't happen for everyone. Some people take action and do different things and, you know, essentially are able to reconcile those aspects of what's not working to figure out other ways and, and be flexible about the ways in which it can work. But it's certainly something that I see very, very frequently. And we might disagree on this, but the problem really isn't infertility or recurrent miscarriage. It's really simply a misalignment from what your true essence actually is. And understanding how to find the, the pieces that are creating those biochemical pathway misalignments that we see because really infertility and miscarriage is nothing more than a result than an outcome as I've, I've described this before so we need to understand what is causing that misalignment and and what is going to be the best way to change that the good news is that it is possible to change and that there, there is nothing wrong with you you're not broken in any way i, I really you know i cannot express that enough because I hear this so frequently and I know that for many people even though they might not say it it's something that they carry and I really want to be very clear in terms of this because nothing is further from the truth okay it's sure there are things that are getting in the way there are things that perhaps are holding you back and that misalignment is essentially what we need to be able to understand so that we can realign but really you know if we look at you know there's a there's an analogy that a rocket to the moon is only ever on course 3% of the time and that 97% of the time it's literally course correcting Let's think of fertility difficulties, challenges, reproductive difficulties and challenges in exactly that way and figure out what else, how else, and perhaps who else needs to take a fresh approach and a fresh new look. And the reason that I say this is because here's the rub. If you already knew personally yourself how you were going to fix this issue, you would have already done it you would have already been holding the healthy baby of your dreams in your arms. You wouldn't be watching this video. So the key aspect here is to understand and to realize that yes, you need help. And what is it that you need to do? The great news is that you have already found us. Okay. So now the next big step is taking action. Nothing is going to happen without taking action, you know, and around this video, you will find that I've put, do something, do something completely different and completely new. I've put resources in there for you. Book a conversation, go get fertility breakthrough, the book uh, on Spotify. It's free to listen to make, you know, have a look at different programs that are available. All of that is somewhere around this video. The key aspect here though, is that doing more of the same isn't going to get you where you want to be. And <laughs> with that, you know, in, in fertility breakthrough, I wrote, uh, 
you know, a joke that I once heard as a, in the form of a story. And it was, you know, this man having uh, drowning at sea and having a conversation with God, very faithful man asking, please help me. And so God sends, you know, a boat and the man says, no, I don't need a boat. God is going to save me. That's all that I need. And then, of course, he keeps praying and God says, hey, OK, I'm going to send a helicopter, sends a helicopter. The man replies, "Nope, I don't need help. God is going to save me. Then God he continues the, the solicitation, the requests, and God says, OK, fine, I'll send a ship. And the man refuses to be saved and drowns and dies, goes to heaven in the story and um, and gets there and says to God, why didn't you save me? I, you know, I did all the right things. I was a good person. Why didn't you save me? And he said and God says, well, I send you a, sh a boat, a helicopter and a ship. What else did you want me to do? And so if you ever needed a sign, take it as one and act action you know, is the beginning of everything that you want. So take action, get in there and do what it takes because without it, you will just keep going around in circles asking for help when you've just found it. So I look forward to connecting again and until next time, bye for now.